Welcome to a New Year's Eve edition of Valley Form for 2021. The sun's beating down here at the Valley and looking to continue his hot form from week one is Josh Bell from Ladbrokes. Josh, do you think you can back it up tomorrow night? Absolutely, Benny. Happy, uh, Merry Christmas to you and Happy New Year to all those watching. What a way to say farewell to 2021. Uh, we've got a really good card of racing at the Valley on Friday night. Hopefully we've found some winners between us and we can drag the quaddy. Well, race five is the Summer Festival at the Valley Handicap. It's our charity <laughs> race and this week our charity partner is Behind the Barriers. I believe, Josh, you're with one of our charity runners. Yeah, the Mick Price and Michael Kent Jr. train spooning looks very well placed here in the fifth event of the evening. The four-year-old mare has had just the six starts in her short career, but has proven she has a fair amount of ability. She won a maiden at Pakenham by four lengths at her second start before finishing third in the listed Adelaide Guineas during her last prep. She was beaten two lengths when resuming at Sand Sandown two weeks ago, and she will have plenty, uh, take plenty of benefit out of that run. Jamie Carr steers from Barrier 7. That's number three, Spooning. And in the quad E, I'm, I'm going to take on the favourite in the first leg here. I've got number one, Angel Rock, number two, Just Stella, and number three, Spooning. Well, I've got the Ladbrokes 55 second challenge this week as a race six on the program. And in heat 10, I'm going to side with Leon and Troy Corson's train runner in Estrell Park. Uh, she's a real 955 nine, type of horse, and she's been awesome running two placings here at the Valley in her last two uh, outings. She got back and charged the line here, as you can see behind Kev's girl, but she actually gets a two and a half kilo weight swing on Kev's girl, so that's enough to swing me in her favour. Kev's girl gets penalised to two and a half for winning that race. She's drawn barrier 11 and will need some luck, but you can get uh, $6 a win and $2.30 the place with Ladbroke. So in a, in a difficult race, I think she's a solid each way play. In the quality, though, it's not easy. I'm going to have to go with five. Uh, number three, Kev's Girl. Number four, El Salto. Number eight, Aminatu. Number nine, Karkadarkit. And number 12, Estrell Park. So on to race seven is the Mel Godkin's 60th birthday Bonanza handicap over 1,200 metres. Happy birthday, Mel. I'm sure it'll be a cracker. I found one at nice double-figure odds here in fudging at around the $15 mark. He's only a lightly raced five-year-old gelding with 11 career starts, but he has three wins to his name in that time. Both his runs this so far this prep have been at the Valley and both have been full of merit. His latest effort was a... Fifth at uh, over the 1,200 metres two weeks ago where he was beaten just over a length and a half. He was found wanting late in that race, having been forced to do some work in the early part of the race to get the lead. But if he can get a softer time in front here uh, on Friday night, he's going to be in this for a long, long way. So number three, fudging each way for me. And in the quaddy, I've gone with four. Number three, fudging. Number five, rock tycoon. Number eight, black opal and at a bit of a price, number 13, Spirit of Aquila. Well, race eight, and the last race on the card is the Ascend Sales Trophies Handicap. It's over 1,200 metres, and again, I'm tipping a big night for Malua Racing and Damien Oliver. I'm with them again here with We Go Bam. Uh, like her stable mate in race six, she's also drawn out in barrier 11, so she'll need some luck, but I think she brings the best form. As you can see here, she ran second, and quite a luckless second, I thought, behind a smart mare, Rose Quartz of Flemington. She's now third up at peak fitness, and this is a clear class drop from the benchmark 70 uh, races she's been contesting. She now drops back to 64 level. She obviously has to convert that form from down the straight to the valley, but she too is an each way price, and I think she should be finishing in the money if she gets the right run. In the quarter, I couldn't skinny up. Number four, We Go Bam. Number seven, A Prayer Lemur. Number 10, Lazuka. And number 13, Escador. Well, Josh, hopefully we've landed a New Year's Eve quaddy for the punters there, but who's the best bet earlier in the card? Yeah, let's get one early in the evening, Benny, in race three to build a bankroll for the rest of the card. I couldn't have been more impressed with Guns of Blazing two weeks ago when he won here at the Valley over 3,000 metres. He settled beautifully during the run, tucked away with cover, and, and Ollie found a run at the perfect time when they rounded the turn. He sustained a long run that night and had them covered at the 300 metres. So he's being asked to carry more weight now in this event. But it really doesn't look any harder than a fortnight ago, and he's clearly the one to beat. So number uh, race three, number one, Guns Are Blazing is my best of the night. Good luck, punters. Well, that's Valley Forum wrapped up for 2021. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the races tomorrow night, and we'll see you in the new year.